crazy stuff happening at Google DeepMind. Noam Shazir, who is one of the most decorated engineers of Google, has actually returned to Google from being character.ai CEO. It's not that character.ai was doing bad. So if you see the other two companies that had a similar fate, Inflection, where the CEO went to Microsoft, Adept, where the CEO went to Amazon, Character AI is doing pretty good. So I'm not sure what is the reason, except maybe Google DeepMind or Demis Asa, Sundar Pichai, like they have extremely convinced Noam Shazir that Google absolutely needs him. So he has written to Google after founding Character.ai in October 2021. If you have not heard about this name, he is one of the co-authors of the most decorated papers, Attention is All You Need. And also he spearheaded the team of researchers that built Lambda. And if you do not know Lambda, Lambda was quite controversial back then because an engineer or a somebody insider inside Google at that point claimed that it has become sentient and the person was fired and a lot of drama was happening around that time and people were actually thinking that large language models are dangerous to release. Anyways, it's not just Noam Shazir is leaving, it's also that uh, Character.ai co-founder Daniel D. Freitas is also joining Google with some other startup employees. This is, like I said, the third startup which has got this fate. First, it was Inflection AI. I really love their product pie. Then it was Adept and now it is Character.ai. But Character.ai is also going to be an independent company. Google has signed a non-exclusive non agreement with Character.ai to use its tech. So Noam has said uh, that uh, he believes that with this agreement and the funds from Google that the company will continue to succeed. And we have discussed character.ai multiple times on this channel because it's it's one of these uh, uh, chat GPT wrapper kind of a website, but uh, it does a pretty good job. It has got a really good active user base, monthly active users, and they have made good money in the past. So it's it's very strange to see what is happening, but it also shows uh, that Google DeepMind is actively cooking something. At least in very recent times, if you see Google DeepMind is always in the news. So when Noam and Daniel started character.ai, our goal of personalized super intelligence required a full stack approach. We had to pre-train, post-train models. And, uh, but now it seems like uh, they have realized that they don't have to pre-train foundation models and uh, the landscape has shifted. So there are a lot of pre-trained models available so that the team can only focus on taking the existing pre-trained models and then focusing on post training and also creating product experiences than actually creating a new pre-trained model, which is uh, Noam Shazir's one of the strongest uh, areas. So there are a lot of papers that he has co-authored. I think Switch Transformers is one. Attention is all you need. And I think there was an MOE paper, if I remember correctly, maybe that is Switch Transformers. This is one use. The, this is not the only crazy news. The other crazy news is that Google very silently launched a new model. I don't know if I have to call it Google or Google DeepMind. The new model is what they call as an experimental model. It's an extension of Gemini 1.5 Pro, but a new model. They don't have any other details. The model is available on Google AI Studio. So if you go to AI Studio, here you can actually see the new experimental model is there. And I've seen a lot of good reviews at this point about this model. I'm trying to make a separate video about this model. But at this point, this model is the top model breaching the 1300 score for the first time. For the very first time, it has breached 1300 ELO arena score. And this model, uh, it, one, I'm starting to think that Google has some kind of cheat code or benchmark hacking within arena. It's probably the training data. I'm not sure. I'm just speculating. Uh, could be bad speculation. But also a lot of people had experienced use this model and then claimed that this model is really good, especially the long context seemed to work really good because it comes with 2 million context window. So even the previous one had 2 million uh, tokens context window, but this one seems to do a better job with 2 million token context window. So yeah, Google DeepMind seems to be on a roll. So they won, um, they, they trained a model for second place of International Math Olympiad. Then they've got this new model, which they silently released without a lot of information and uh, just a couple of tweets here and there. And now the latest news that Noam Shazir is uh, Noam Shazir. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, is returning to Google. 
I am getting a little worried about what is happening at OpenAI. Given the fact that Google DeepMind is always cooking something, staying on news, Anthropic on the other side is doing that. Oh, GPT-40 oh, voice capability started rolling out for OpenAI. That seems to be good, but um, not a frontier model yet. See you in another video. Happy prompting.